Hey guys welcome back. In this video I am going to showing you how to connect external 12 inch subwoofers in your home theaters. Four thousand seven hundred UF fifty volt capacitor two piece KBPC three five one zero metal diode in four thousand seven diode four piece two thousand two hundred UF twenty five volt capacitor twelve volt DC fan. In this project, we need powerful transformer. In my case, I am using thirty zero thirty seven amps. In this 12-inch subwoofer driver I am using Fort Transistor Mono Driver. I purchased this on local markets. And it's very cheap price. Guys now time to check transformer output volt. Here you can see 9 solder terminals. Each 3 of terminal have a different output volt. Now check each terminal output using multimeter. First AC output 3 solder terminal. Second AC output 3 solder terminal. Third AC output 3 solder terminal. First check second 3 solder terminals. Here you can see reading is 3030 dual supply. This 3030 connected on our subwoofer driver module. Now check first 3 terminal. Here you can see reading is 12012 dual supply. This 12 volt used for our cooling fan. But we need only 12 volt. Not require dual supply. Then we choose 12 volt first two terminals. And third three terminal have A18018 dual supply. But that output not be required our project. I am using this IBEL 5.1 home theater. This home theater purchased on Amazon a few months ago. It's very powerful and very cheap price. I will give by a link in the video description.
Guys first we will learn home theater basic internal circuit. There are different home theater available. Like 2.1, 4.1 and 5.1. These three types are most popular. This external subwoofer project suitable for this three type home theaters. First we will talk 2.1 home theater. 2.1 home theater have a 3 TD at 2030 IC. First IC controlled by right channel speaker. Second IC controlled by left channel speaker. And third IC controlled by subwoofer. This is 2.1 home theater IC setup. Now we will talk 4.1 home theater. 4.1 home theater have a 5 TD at 2030 IC. First IC controlled by front right channel speaker. Second IC controlled by front left channel speaker. Third IC controlled by rear right channel speaker. Fourth IC controlled by rear left channel speaker. And fifth IC controlled by subwoofer. Some of the 4.1 home theater have a 6 TD at 2030 IC. That method is 4 TD at 2030 IC controlled 4 satellite speakers. And another 2 TD at 2030 IC controlled by subwoofer that is called dual IC bridge circuit. Now talk third type home theater 5.1. In my case also using 5.1 home theater. 5.1 home theater have a 7 TD at 2030 IC. First IC controlled by front right channel speaker. Second IC controlled by front left channel speaker. Third IC controlled by rear right channel speaker. Fourth IC controlled by rear left channel speaker. Fifth IC controlled by center channel speaker. Sixth and seventh IC controlled by subwoofer. Some of the 5.1 home theater have a 6 TD at 2030 IC. 5 channel used for surround speakers and 6 IC used for subwoofer guys this is the basic concept on 3 different home theaters first we will find out common ground in the circuit using multimeter set up continuity mode on multimeter first we find transformer ground wire how can find transformer ground wire? Guys this is the dual supply transformer. This transformer have 3 wires. First one is 12 volt. Second one is common ground. And third one is another 12 volt. Remember center tape is common ground. Ok guys now you can see this transformer. This transformer have another 2 blue wires it's 12 volt supply for MCU board. Another two yellow wires is dual supply 12 volt wire and black one is center tape common ground. Now trace the black wire where connected. Okay guys this the common ground solder terminal on circuit board. Now set up the multimeter probe on center tape common ground solder point and main capacitor series solder terminal. Now you hear the buzzer sound. Okay guys now time to find external subwoofer output source. It's very simple. Follow this steps. Guys first we will learn common home theater subwoofer circuit. There are two types circuit available. First one is single IC subwoofer circuit. Second one is dual IC subwoofer circuit. Dual IC subwoofer circuit only used on some of the 4.1 and 5.1 home theaters. Now 2.1 home theater users follow the steps. This is the PD at 2032.1 home theater subwoofer circuit. This IC have a 5 pin. We need first pin only. Solder directly TD at 2030 subwoofer. IC first pin on our external subwoofer driver input source first wire. And second wire connected on common ground that common ground connected external subwoofer driver second wire. Now 2.1 home theater users setup is ready. Now 4.1 home theater users follow the steps. I already told some type home theaters have using single IC subwoofer circuit, or dual IC subwoofer circuit. In your home theater have a 5 DD at 2030, I see it's single, IC controlled subwoofer driver. In your home theater have a 6 TD, a 2030, I see it's dual, IC controlled subwoofer driver. If you have 5 TD at 2030, I see you will follow 2.1 home theater method. If you have 6 TD at 2030 I see. Follow this steps. Guys this is the TD at 2030 dual IC subwoofer driver circuit, that's called dual bridge IC circuit. In this circuit first IC first pin connected on input source. 
Second IC first pin connected 22 kilo resistor and resistor another end connected on ground. This is not an input source IC. In this same setup in your 4.1 dual IC subwoofer circuit. Some time first IC first pin connected on 22 kilo resistor and resistor another end connected on ground. Second IC first pin connected on input source. Now input IC first pin connected on external subwoofer driver first wire and common ground connected on external subwoofer driver second wire. The same setup for 5.1 home theaters users. Here I solder external subwoofer driver input source and black wire is common ground. Brown wire is TD at 2030 IC first pin direct output. This two wires goes on external subwoofer driver module. Guys I solder this input source wire on this RC socket. I did use FM. Trip this FM antenna circuit and solder our external input source. in my case I am using this 12 inch subwoofer. This subwoofer I purchased on local markets. You also buy this kind of subwoofer on online. I give the best buy link in the video description. Guys this the final setup on subwoofer driver. I placed all components on this plastic base. It's look like little bit weird. That reason I not have a cabinet and I choose this one. But you make this project you will place this all components on good cabinet. Cabinets available on local markets. Subwoofer output. Home theater input source. AC input 230 volts.